Nine years ago, I was um, diagnosed with neuropathy. Neuropathy in my feet, where I can't feel the bottoms of either of my feet anymore at all. And they're very painful, and some days uh, to the point where I can't walk at all. And um, my doctor was at wit's end, didn't know what to do with me anymore. They had me on as much medication as they could to help me, but I was allergic to a lot of the typical neuropathic medication like Lyrica and all those that you see on TV all the time. So we were fortunate to have a 37-year-old doctor come into Iowa from New York and he took me in this time I had no life I would go to work I would come home I would collapse because all I could do was bear through the pain so I could work come home and collapse. So I begged him to put me on something to get rid of the pain. I was on 30 milligrams of morphine twice a day. I was on 325 milligrams of hydrocodone three times a day. And I was home another 30 milligrams of gabapentin a day, every six hours. That's enough to kill a horse. But I learned how to deal with it. I went to work. Some days I worked 10 hours a day. I'd go in at six o'clock in the morning, sometimes I'd work until six o'clock at night, and I was on a computer all day long. Again, I'd go home, I was dead. I couldn't go anymore. I had to sleep. I couldn't do anything. My husband and I were competition dancers, <coughs> and I couldn't dance anymore. Speed up a few years. After so many years of all this medication, I could no longer function with my brain. I lost my job because I could no longer keep up with the pace of the job and the demands of so I lost my job two years ago. And I have since then filed for disability. They've denied my claims. I have a hearing in, the, in July, but I don't know what's going to happen there. Anyway, so we've done everything we can. I had an opportunity to go to Las Vegas in March, where we met Chris in June. It had to be God, all I can say. Chris saw me, I was walking with Kate. She said, you need to see something. And asked me for my email, and she sent us found healing. And we listened to it. And we said, when we get back home, we need to talk. When I got back home, the next week I had an appointment with my pain doctor. He announced that with the opioid crisis, he could no longer prescribe my morphine and hydrocodone. I could no longer get it. He was cutting me in half immediately, which meant one morphine a day and one hydrocodone a day. And I asked, well, what are you going to give me in the meantime? He goes, I don't have anything. My husband showed him the brochure of the life band and she goes, try it. I got nothing else for it. I did not know what I was going to do. I 
have a hernia replaced a year ago. I had to go off all my pain medications because he was afraid if I didn't, I wouldn't be able to handle the pain of the knee replacement. So for a month we cut out, we slowly took me off all my pain medications. And a week before the surgery, I had to have no pain medication and I had no sleep for one solid week. I knew what it was like not to have that pain medication. So I knew I had to find something. So the next day I called Chris to find out more about this product. I've been on it for less than two weeks. I am taking one half a pill of hydrocodone and one half pill of morphine now. I can walk all day long. I can rake my yard. I have more energy than I've had in 10 years. My 39 year old son said, there's my mom. I haven't seen her for a while. And my husband and I actually put a life together again. Because he hasn't seen me in a long, long time. So I know what this product does, but it has to be the Vitality Pack. It can't be one or the other. It has to be the whole thing. That's all I've taken the whole time. It has to be the gut. It has to be the brain. It has to be all of it. Because people who have been on pain medication for years, they have to have this, and they're gonna be taken off of it. The whole state of Iowa will not have opioids, and these doctors don't have an answer. They just don't. They don't know what to tell their patients. So if you know anybody with chronic pain, anybody that is going to a pain doctor, anybody on a pain contract, talk to them. I beg you, because hey, Chris not talk to me. I don't know what I'm doing today. Oh, no. Sorry, thank you.